Hi friends, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra and with me is Dr. Amit Yadav. Amit has a long journey to share with us how he started, but his belief and persistence made him kept on going. We will like to listen to this story. He started, uh, attended my lecture in Aurangabad in the year 2016 when he was a student of final year. Amit belongs to Batch 2012 from the Government Medical College Dhule, which is near Aurangabad and Shirdi in the in Maharashtra. So, Amit, uh, please tell us what made you go for AIMS and finally you have got ranked 31 in AIMS. Heartiest congratulations. When did the dream run begin? When did it start off? First of all, thank you sir so much. Uh, Thanks to uh, my parents, especially who supported me for uh, this long journey, and uh, all my teachers, cause it was almost impossible without them. Cause uh, you can't just read everything like 19 subject. You have to cut down the bulbs. And uh, I started. Uh, it was in almost end of second year. I felt like uh, uh, somewhat less in my college was nobody uh, giving atten attention so I felt like I, I uh, deserve better so I started uh, at the end of my second year re started with just uh, review books along with my textbooks to just see the pattern so that I can orient myself and uh, when I become intern so that it will be very easy to just go through the process I planned it uh, in second year only so started early yeah I started early. So rule number one that Amit wants to convey is he started early. So he started thinking about it. He started thinking about this dream from the very beginning that I have to move out of uh, the college and I have to start taking entrance exam seriously which he felt was lacking in the year. Yeah. And then he started thinking I should think that when I enter an internship I should not be facing difficulties. Yes. Fantastic. I would, uh, making my path easy in the future so I have to work in my past so uh, early uh, it started very difficult because I was very weak in my concepts I didn't study uh, anything in my first year and uh, I don't know how I passed I was very surprised so everybody passes first year like this only yeah. first year is an accident <laughs> I uh, yes. yeah, yeah. suddenly a different world of medical yes, college yes. the cream of every place comes to you yeah, so it's difficult but year, yeah. still he's saying that he realized that he had not done so much of hard work in the first year so he wanted to develop on his concepts yes I started reading Robbins uh, all the textbook in second year I read it thoroughly and so, Robbins is one book Amit yes. which is the first good book you read Yes. Pure MBBS me. This I is the book. It. Everybody loves it because yeah. this is probably the first book that people like to read. This is the first book that people understand the language as such. Yes. And I think this is a book that is must know. Yes. It will cover eleven subjects finally in entrance exam, which is yes. huge. So Robbins is one thing that everybody should read. I know people who don't read Robbins. Although I'll not recommend that, but it's happening in I many know. colleges. But I believe that Robbins is one book which should be read with heart. Okay. And uh, then, I also felt that uh, reading for professional exam and uh, differently for intense exam is not good. Actually, it's same the thing. Because in uh, NEET or B TAMS, B NEET, B PI, they ask very common questions. Bulk of question is found by very common questions only, and you have to just uh, go through them smoothly. So, so he says that uh, start early, work on your concepts. And the studies of entrance exam and professional exams are absolutely same. And you will pass with good marks in professional exam also. So if you are working towards your entrance also, your results in uh, the entrance will also be good and professional will also be good. This is exactly what Jagbir told me. You know, Jagbir is ranked 12 with you. Same exam, Jagbir Nehra. And we were having an interview that day and he told, Ki, Sir, I focus on MCQs from the beginning. Yes. And I read MCQs, MCQs, MCQs and their knowledge. And that helped me in my professional also. So this is again a student work the same thing. That if you do the same things together, it's easier. Same time will work for both the places. And Fantastic. first reading blindly is, uh, you know, you will lost your motivation. So we, you need to fix your goals. Like, yeah, this question is asked in AMS. So I have to study it from Robbins. See retrospectively. It will help you 
to uh, go in the right direction only so i did only question no you don't have to solve a question in second year just see the question and what is the options so that you get the orientation okay this is the option whenever you read gonna read uh, your textbook you'll realize oh, this question is asked in am this is in pgi i should read it better your subconscious will work on that so keep uh, keeping this was a, a good thing for me and uh, in third year i totally planned my things to go to review books only okay because i feel that even if you read any textbook you are not gonna re revise that and you are not gonna recall any of that Only so he started combining the review books together yeah. so that things can be consolidated in one place and will help and, him in the future and he started cutting down the content also so that you know you don't feel like syllabus is too much so uh, in third year it was like psm ent of them so i did psm well cuz uh, hot topics <laughs> psm you know fetch you 30 question in, in it and uh, almost 50 to 20 question in psm is 10% of the paper yeah so if you have 200 question paper 20 in aims and if you have 300 paper then 30 in neat it's yeah. always 10% and you have predictable books for it and uh, i also felt that radiology should be done earlier cause uh, nobody read radiology in mb so i did it my third year only uh, i started uh, doing uh, so he thought that the clinical things are starting and radiology uh, will be required in all the clinical subjects was, uh, in radiology i studied mostly uh, out of the so many unknown topics i was not knowing so many syndromes like von hippel and dow syndrome i was not knowing well so it helps me to know the topics and helps me uh, to integrate well okay so he he had a view broader view that what are all the topics and, uh, and it was giving lots of syndromes and names and things so that he finally can imbibe into different subjects also it helps me to yeah, predict the investigation of any okay. diseases good what there is to us when when i use that and also then i came in the final year then i felt like yeah, i is too bulky 10 subjects go, uh, have remained and uh, i started reading surgery uh, medicine not from belly love cuz i on, uh, always think like that ki if i can't revise it is waste to read it so i gone to the short books only cuz i was knowing the topic already so i did that only okay so you went for to uh, the topics only yeah i went for to topics only cuz i don't want to feel burden all the time so he he knew that you have to shell it out and focus on the things which are required in the future life the special topics yeah. fantastic yeah so then came your internship yeah so uh, you started doing the mcqs yes i started doing mcq but uh, i thought uh, i should take the transfer to some other college where i can attend some live lecture cuz okay. i didn't attend any coaching classes cuz uh, it was very far very very college and uh, it's very hard to go from there to travel long distance to attend classes so i uh, transferred uh, to some other college and i try to attend four to five live, live lectures okay so you took individual lectures yeah All which right. i felt i am weak right at. So you went for the individual lectures, yes. and ortho was one of them that you attended. Yeah. I so was in final year only. So All right, fantastic. So when anything, anything, any other book that you recommend to the students, which played a major role in your life, apart from Robbins? If you want to read any one book in your uh, PG preparation, I would uh, advise to go for U.S. Only first year, because the it is my favorite book, and uh, it is know, my favorite book also. And in my lectures, I always talk yeah. about it. <laughs> If you see that. Uh, no diet uh, there is a direct line coming from uh, same book from in ams you will have at least 30 questions to 40 questions coming uh, yeah, directly straight uh, no this november ams also like 30 to 40 question is directly from that book and uh, it made me realize that yeah i was right all about it fantastic so you assembly first stage this is the book that everybody should read and should have on the table in which they are studying and fantastic. also it will help you in neat also it's not like that yeah it will come in usmly so Help amit only. has given a neat uh, twice and yeah. uh, he is saying that you will have questions coming to that also so amit the first exam that you appeared was neat 2018 yeah what was your rank that time my rank was 4800 and so at 4800 rank didn't you think about taking something up uh, i wanted a um, radiology but uh, at this rank is very uh, less chances but i tried to take medicine also but didn't get in state counseling so i have to move on but uh, but he did not give up yeah you know and then he went on to write the next exam aims yeah 2018 yeah 
We are talking about 2018. We are yes. in 2019 end. So 2018 May Ames. Yeah. So how yeah. did it go? First of all, uh, due to the counseling and internship, my, I finished my internship in April only. So it was like yeah, just next month there is AMS and I didn't study after NEET because after 4,800 I felt like uh, I am from periphery college and uh, also not getting good rank in NEET. How can I crack AMS? So, so do you think it was wrong you thought about it? Because yes, today it you have 31 wrong. rank. Yeah, yeah. So people have to believe this aspect that from any college you can qualify. It was very wrong because uh, when I attempted AMS, I felt like 190 question out of 200 I was knowing but you know I didn't revise anything, left all out of his study. So the never ever do a mistake that he yeah. did. He you was ranked 320. He did not read after 4800 rank in need. This is what I tell everybody. The last exam that you should appear is AMS. Mid aims. If you are not studying till then, you are doing a big mistake. Reason number one: If you get a good rank in NEET, you have a better chance in aims. Reason number two: If you don't have a good rank in NEET, you might qualify. The third and the most important reason: Even if you don't qualify, you are reading till May. You are not wasting time till May. And if you have to appear for the next year exams, you will continue. Yeah. This is a very very important approach. So, what did you take up in 320 rank? You must have got a seat. I am very sure. Yeah, sir. Actually, I didn't wanted any seat that time because I I wanted to give my best. So and you felt you're still not giving the best. Yeah, cause okay. it was like I was very close and I just gave up just before that. Right. And it was the uh, very bad decision. So I started reading in May only after results, cause I felt like I can do better. But you know, lot of fam financial issues and family pressure. I I had to opt for um, ophthalmology. In so you took up uh, yeah, OPTA? Yeah, OPTA in Delhi. Which uh, college? Delhi? I am there. RB yeah. Center, okay. Then? Yeah. I worked there for four to five months and then I realized I am not into this subject and I felt like I can do better also because you have to work 24 hours there only. If you read 10 to 12 hours, you can do better also. So I had a chance. So I think uh, I should go for it. But nobody supported me, even a uh, lot of point, lot of people disappointed in me that time also because I resigned so it was a like a worst phase so your outside system yeah. did not believe in you but your yeah. inside heart said yeah I felt like I can do it but nobody believed that and uh, it was quite disappointing when you know everybody is commenting on you but you did what you wanted to do yeah I want uh, I think uh, I ignored them quite quietly <laughs> I closed my uh, myself in a room and I started studying. So there are four things I want to convey from the summary here. Number one, he started with a dream. A dream that he has to move out of Dhule and he has to go to some other college, maybe Ames. It converted into a goal with a channelized thing when he started doing the review books along with his prof studies and they were integrated. Number three, he did not want to settle for less. Number four, everybody in the universe around him felt he cannot do this and he was feeling that everybody was negative. So he closed his room and his belief was opened up that I can do it. Yeah. So these are the four statements that you should remember that happens to everybody before they do something big. I'll give you a small example. You're standing on a red light. What will you do? If it is a red light, will you take a U-turn? What do you do? You wait. For what? The light to turn green and then you cross it. Don't you? Such a simple example. Many a times we have red lights in our exams, in our lives. Do we take a U-turn and go back? I will not Right? But no. We wait and we should go ahead. Wait for things to turn green. This is a simple message. You know, in his heart, he started working and then came the NEET 2019. So, Amit, what happened in NEET 2019? I resigned almost at uh, 5 December for that time. So, I thought I have 20 to 25 days All right. to go for the NEET. Okay, let's try uh, whatever I know the best. Because in resident, after the residency, I felt like I lost almost whatever I was knowing. So, I started reading my old notes. Whichever I made. So he did not have any updates. He was not a regular class student joining anywhere. He in fact was working in a posting. But he had one golden thing. His own notes. Yeah. And he started reading them again. First I had US assembly uh, and my old notes. 
so what I felt like I didn't uh, have medicine notes I didn't have any surgery notes OBGY notes and micro notes so I have to manage that subject I did from I did given four to five grand tests so that I can manage hot topics just to just go through that once and I did my uh, all the short subject very well and I, I scored pretty well all of them from almost 90 percent 95 percent so his short subjects were good so he scored them well he revised everything and what subjects he could not do he picked up the hot topics and did those topics yes then you wrote neat what was your rank at that time uh, my rank was 1327 so th 1327 was his rank 1327 is a dream rank yeah. right is something that people die for uh, what did you get Amit? I get uh, medicine in uh, Aligarh. So you got Aligarh, AMU, Men General Medicine, MD General Medicine. Yeah. Fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah. But this was not the end of your journey. It was just the beginning. Yeah. Then what happened? Uh, I, there was also state counseling going on. So I felt like I can get radio here and there also. So The hunger was not over. Yeah. You wanted radio in Maharashtra. Mumbai especially and uh, either uh, PGI Lucknow. In state counseling. Fantastic. Then what? Then. Nay mila. Yeah, some counseling is so political, so I didn't get in. Right. So he did not get. Yeah. Then. Then I, what happened? Then the. Second, then the family who was <laughs> opposing you, the people around you were opposing you. The second depression. And now in. there was a second phase. Ki ab ho gaya. Ab kya ho gaya? You again gonna leave it? Then what happened? Everybody is like, he gonna out it or gonna leave it again? It's and like, you moved again? Yeah. Like this, the, this is this is not a stint of a hero here. It is not something that he exceptionally did. It is what a doctor can always do: never give up. We yeah. never give up on a life. If we lose one, we try the second one. Yeah. We do everything to save a life. We do everything to save our own careers. And this man felt that MD medicine still, right? AMU is not something to settle for. Yes. Right. And he still felt that he can do better because he still felt he has not given his 100%. Yes, because uh, I was skipping most of the major subjects that time. So, yeah, I was not at my best. I did it with like 12 to 13 subjects. It might appear strange, but he's being very honest. He's telling you that his preparation was not to the par. And he still had scope. Yes. And when your preparation is not to the par, so is your rank. Yes. So I recorded in one of the videos, pay more. Till the time you don't pay more attention and you don't do more, you don't get more. For a price of iPhone, you have to pay a price of iPhone if you want it. You won't get an iPhone for the price of a cheaper phone. So then, Amit, you went to write the May Ames 2019. Yes. So what happened there? What happened there, uh, I was not studying as same happened last year. So it was like, yeah, I, I have to just attempt it, okay? Maybe I can get it. Nobody knows whatever I know. Maybe they had come in exam and Margaret tried and I get, get the rank. So what happened, some technical issue, I wasn't able to attempt the paper well because of some new pattern by exam. You have to move the option in some box and mouse was not working well and uh, I was attempting it in the last 20 minutes only. So. It was like I was panicking, uh, I'm not going to attempt it, whole question paper. So and then he had a bad day. Yeah, I messed it up. So it, there was a bad day and uh, a boy who had finished 320 in the last year, had qualified with 1327 rank in NEET, messed up Ames May 2019, but then again stood up and came to write uh, November Ames 2019. Yes. So Amit... Uh, I think it's a phenomenal story and I think a lot of people listening to you will take away this message that aims is possible with persistence. Yes. Your college does not decide anything. A dream without hard work is a dream. A dream with hard work is a goal. For your goal, you have to believe to your heart and ignore what happens around you. Books that you recommend are Pathology Robbins at New Assembly First State. Yes. You recommend what frequency should a person take a grand test? I think uh, if you are uh, like not knowing anything, you should take it more so that you can orient yourself fast, faster than others. 
if you know already the pattern even if you don't take it much it doesn't matter because you are already knowing the pattern you can study it well from your notes if you are not because the knowledge uh, i think the knowledge we gain from notes or whatever sources you are reading if you can't use it it's just waste because it's not going to retain in your mind so you have to practice it so that you can sharp 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 it so that you can go for the exam even new question come you can solve it so a knowledge without utility is a burden yes it and a burden. knowledge which is polished is a weapon yes this is what amit wants to convey here amit uh, you had your notes to revise yes right yes what was anything special you want to tell about revision because everybody fails in revision we are in the last yes. month of exams it exams. is the trickiest part i felt cuz uh, most of people i have seeing studying whole uh, 15 to 16 hour a day and not retaining it so i think uh, they are missing the most important part the revision and the space between the two revisions got it yeah i was like it was a uh, my uh, experience that whenever i was revising the continuously for like 4 to 5 days i was retaining like almost 90 92 to 5% for okay. a long time okay so whatever uh, like i uh, read today biochemistry i'm going to revise tomorrow same thing i going okay. i going to revise the next day also the same thing cuz the uh, the next day next day and time was like reducing it like your first division 12 hour then second division 6 hour third division is 3 hour and last division is 2 hour right yeah so usually they say you should have 6 weeks in the uh, gap between the revisions of one subject but this is an interesting thing he is telling me this is one of my student called as arman who got 37 in all india 2019 he did whatever he will read today tomorrow morning when he will start he will first revise that yeah. and go ahead and then the next day whatever he read a day prior he will revise that so what he says is if you revise consecutively it will be embedded in your mind better it will create residual memory even right. if you don't study uh, for a long time you can still recall that and at least very very common things like galiazzi and montegia you will never have to worry about yeah at least in the exam you will not struggle with the common things so this yeah. is a phenomenal thing it's an exponential revision that he's talking about it's a continuous revision it's not a phase out revision it's a different technique it's one of the memory techniques that you have one is a phase revision one is a continuous revision yeah. so i want to conclude this video by thanking amit for taking out time for telling the importance of revision the importance of mcqs the important of important classes that you do he is a student who is not from a regular coaching so it is a very very vital thing and i thank that i'll be putting it on my youtube channel and i just want to tell one one video i was listening in the morning right right the almighty good god above you know it creates uh, different animals and human beings are one of them you know but he made lion as the king you know what lion has different from everybody lion is not the strongest lion is not the heaviest lion is not also the most intelligent but lion is the most courageous lion has a belief he can do that and his belief system is so strong that his attitude and his walk is different from all other animals and that is why he chases down the way you have chased down for people rank 31 right aims november 2019 might be just a rank that amit yadav got it but believe him believe me he earned it he deserves every bit of it listening to him i am think thousands of students will believe that we can do it so you are a belief for them amit stay responsible guide your juniors all the best from all of us thank you yes, very much sir. thank you so much sir thank you very much sir.